All right, guys, welcome back to Real Reacts. We are going to take a quick moment and uh, learn about the rules of the rugby union. That way we have a little bit better understanding of the rules of the rugby union. The object of the game is for your team to score more points than the opposing team. The game is played with two teams of 15, playing on a field that's 100 meters long between the goal lines. In rugby union, you may run forwards with the ball and you... 100 meters is how far? Let me know in the comments. I believe 100 meters is as far as a football field, 300 feet. You may kick the ball forwards, but what's interesting about Rugby Union is that you can only pass the ball backwards or sideways. You cannot pass the ball forwards, and doing so will result in your opponent being awarded possession. The idea is to score points, and there are several ways to do this. Number one, a try. You can run with the ball into your opponent's in-goal area and place the ball down onto the ground. This is a try and is worth five points. Unlike in American football, the player must press the ball on the ground with downward pressure. No downward pressure, equals no try. Number two, a conversion. After scoring a try, you're awarded a conversion kick to add more points. The kick is made from a spot 20 meters from the goal line and perpendicular to the spot where the try was scored. Kicking the ball between the posts and over the crossbar scores two points. Number three, a penalty. If your opponent commits a foul, you may choose to kick the ball from the ground between the goal posts. This scores three points. Number four, a drop goal. You can also kick the ball between so basically, a penalty kick is your guys' like field goal. It's like a gimme, correct? Let me know that in the comment section, please. You have any questions? I have a question, please. The posts at any time during open play. To do this, you must drop the ball onto the ground first before kicking it. This also scores three points. To stop you from scoring, your opponents will try and stop you by tackling. Your opponent can grab you below the shoulders and pull you to the floor or stop you moving forwards. In Rugby Union, once a player is tackled, the ball carrier must let go of the ball. This usually results in players pushing each other away on the ground whilst the teammate tries to get possession of the ball. Players from either team can get possession at this point. This is known as a rook and is an important part of the game. To the untrained eye, it looks like a bunch of men rolling around on the floor, but in reality, they're trying to push the opponents away so that they can get the ball. The maul is the other important part of the game. This is essentially a rook while standing up. So this is the big difference between Australian football and rugby. In Australian rugby, this is called a mark, I believe. Let me know in the comments. I believe that's what that's called. I've been trying to learn a little bit. Also, by the way, <clears throat> one of our copyrighted videos just became public. That is an AFL video. Feel free to go search for that. It's like three or four videos down. Give that a like. That's where we learned the AFL rules. Yeah, that's where we learned the <laughs> AFL rules. So leave that a like, and then we reacted to one of the most recent games. It's all new to us. Yeah, yeah, it's all We're just dumb us. Americans. So... <laughs> So yeah, then thank you for the comment about the face. Hopefully you guys can see our faces now and the reaction. So we appreciate that. Anyways, um, back to the uh, commentary. Players will usually push opposing players backwards in order to gain better field position. Unlike in American football or rugby league, there are no set limits for possession. If a team can keep the ball for the entire game, they generally will. The game is played in two 40 minute halves for a combined playing time of 80 minutes. A team with a higher score after 80 minutes wins. That's basically the gist of it, but there's a few other rules you'll need to understand before playing or going to a game. For example, knock-on. Any player deflecting the ball forwards with their arms or body is committing a knock-on. Remember, you're not allowed to point of what? what? They just kicked the ball to the other team. Huh? Why did they do that? I don't know. I think he was getting... This is, that's what it's called, is a knock-on. That's what they're getting ready to talk about. Oh. Knock-on. Any player deflecting the ball forwards with their arms or body is committing a knock-on. Remember, you're not allowed to pass the ball forwards, so you're not allowed to deflect it forwards either, unless it's a kick. Committing a knock-on will result in the other team being awarded a scrum. Scrum. This is a method of restarting play, usually after a forward pass or a knock-on. The forwards of both teams line up and push against one another, whilst the ball is rolled between them. In general, any team can win possession of the ball at this point. In touch. This is rugby terminology for out of the playing area. The outer lines of the field are touch lines, and any ball leaving the field of play is said to be in touch. Line out. This is another method of restarting play, usually when the ball has left the field in touch. Players from each team will line up one meter apart whilst the ball is being thrown between them. 
players are allowed to lift teammates up to try and gain possession of the ball. There are many other rules not discussed here, but as you watch or play Rugby Union, they will become very clear indeed. If you found this video at all helpful, please like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things, and good karma is very much appreciated. Be sure to follow me on Twitter also, but in the meantime, enjoy. Thank you guys. That was a very, very, very good yeah. video. Very yeah. informative. Um, we appreciate it. Like I said, go check out our AFL video. It is currently unblocked, so feel free to go check that out. Can, can explain in the comments more. Uh, on yeah, if there's if there's any more rules you think we should should know, and then we will go back to our regular reacted content. Like I said, there's been uh, a few copyright issues, so we've been struggling with upload. All right, thanks guys.